What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lady Sass, and we are back with another episode on OVH The Shenanigans. So, what's up? Like, what's up with y'all? Where y'all been? Y'all identify y'all um, them red flags yet? Like, let me know. Comment down below if you identified your own red flags. Like, after that video, let me know. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me know how y'all feel about that episode. So, right now, we are on episode two two or three um for OVH the shenanigans um and again if you tune in into the last episode we are going to do three captions at the beginning of the podcast and then we're going to do a question of the day at the end of the podcast so the three captions for today's video that you can use for Instagram or you know any of that fun stuff is going to be only speak when I'm talking to you. Like, baby, the man you respect. You hear me? That's number one. Number two is your new obsession. Three is made them stand on it and now they can't stand me. Tell them stop playing with you. Tell them to keep their name, your name, out their mouth. And that's on period. So we're going to go ahead and get right into the episode all right so today's episode we're going to be talking about dating like what does dating look like for you how is your dating experience in today's society what what do you even consider a date you know what i'm saying like what do you consider a date so to start it off with me i would say dating for me is getting to know someone like getting to know what they're about getting to know their likes their dislikes getting to know the stuff that they enjoy and i'm not talking about just asking hey what are some stuff you like what are some stuff that you don't like <laughs> no i'm not talking about that it's about hanging out spending time with each other to figure out those necessary likes and dislikes like i feel like in this in today's society people are so people forget the dating stage like people like forget the dating step and i feel like as soon as you meet somebody they want to go to pound town ain't no pound town ain't no thugging with no browns uh-uh we don't even know each other and you you trying to get you already talking about pound town you know what i'm saying and then that's another question too because like how do you distinguish the difference from somebody just wanting you to, to go to pound town or somebody actually getting to know you and i mean i feel like you can definitely tell the difference as soon as somebody say they not looking for nothing they just want to vibe baby you already know and i feel like in today's society like a lot of people a lot of guys use they just want to vibe or whatever as a cover-up to not get in a, like a relationship and i could be wrong maybe i done ruffled some feathers there <laughs> yeah boy i could be wrong but i feel like some guys use that as like a guard to not get themselves into something they're scared of which is a relationship i feel like People in today's society are scared of commitment. What's the, what's the issue with commitment? Are you big on titles? Because I don't feel like I'm big on titles. But however, I'm not going to be doing a situation ship. Or I'm not about to be anybody's sneaky link. First of all, I'm too grown. I don't, I don't care what you say. I don't care how old you are. I'm too grown. I'm too old for a situation ship. I'm too old for a, a, to be a sneaky link because baby, I like to be in public. I'm one of those type of people where if you want to meet me, no, you're not coming to my house. I don't care if I live by myself. We're going to meet out in public. And if you can't respect that or if you can't understand that, we're not for each other. Like, I don't like when people automatically like, oh, let me, let me come over there. Oh, you want to come over? No, I don't. I don't, babes. <laughs> I don't want to go over there. I don't know what you're going over here. For me personally, it's a protection type of thing. I live by myself. A single female. Don't get me wrong. I, I carry it on me. But I don't need too many people knowing where I stay. I, like I watch too much, too many crime documentaries. I didn't work in law enforcement. Baby. Let's not play. But I feel like, you know, people forget that dating 
stage. What happened to genuinely trying to get to know someone to build a solid foundation before jumping into anything? What happened to that? I feel like I meet guys who have great potential. But I also feel like they're the type of people to... Okay, let me just give y'all some examples. Like, one of the guys, I felt like he had everything that I wanted. He was everything that, that I needed. I still feel like that to this day. He had an issue with communication. And we had the issue of not seeing each other. Now, my thing is, like, if we're talking and we make that known to each other that we're talking, like, we're talking to build a relationship... Why am I not seeing you? And I'm not asking to see you five times a week. And I'm not talking about physically seeing... Like, you can call me on FaceTime and I'll be okay with that. But I wasn't getting that. I was getting one text a day at nighttime when I was already about to go to sleep. So we wasn't even talking long. And that was that was an issue to me because I'm like, yo, like, you have everything I want. And I express this to him like, yo, you have everything that I want. But I can't deal with your communication skills and I can't deal with not seeing you. So those are like my thoughts on that. And then like another guy, I felt like he had great potential, but he was moving too quick. Day three, we met each other. By that next following week, he was already wanting to be exclusive. But I feel like people are scared of commitment. I feel like one of the guys, I'm not going to say we're talking, but we are friends and we are building a genuine friendship at the moment. For right now, I do feel like he's everything that I would want in, in a partner. He's somebody I would want to date, like, always about his business, always bringing positivity, bringing the motivation. He's truly, to me, like a breath of fresh air. And when someone feels like a breath of fresh air to me, oh, I'm going to keep them around because right now what we're building is a genuine friendship. And if we decide to take that next step, we already have a solid foundation because we were friends first. We've been kicking stuff and not once brought up sex. Like, I like that and I'm super appreciative of that because I love for I love to get to know someone without that involved. Like, why does, why does sex have to be involved for you to get to know someone? You know what I'm saying? And I understand that what they say, you can't get a car without test driving it. I get it. But what about that foundation? That, that foundation of that car is already there though. That car already has four tires. That frame on that vehicle is already there. The foundation is solid. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So dating to me is like truly getting to know someone. And like I said at, at the beginning, I'm not talking about what's your favorite color, what you like to do for fun. I'm not talking about that. I want to be able to hang out with you and just instantly pick up on stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like with the guy that, like I said, I'm building a genuine friendship now. I can tell you off top what he like what he likes to do. I can tell you his favorite color. It's just by listening. But it's just stuff like that. And people think you can truly get to know someone in like a month. You know what? That's a question too. Do y'all feel like there's a, a time frame, like a talking time frame? Because I feel like it's different with everyone. Like I've talked to someone for like a year before we even start dating. I've talked to one for like a few months before we started like trying to date you know what I'm saying like I personally to me I don't feel like there's a time frame but I'm somebody where I want to see I want to see you in all of your seasons before I'm able to make that next step with you like I need to see you when you're upset I need to see you when you're stressed I need to see you when you're happy I need to see you when you're mad like and I need to know how to deal with you like but I'm someone that likes to ask questions too because if you're stressed how can I approach you when you're stressed? When you're upset, how can I approach you when you're upset? If I'm upset, the way I handle stuff is of course going to be different from the way whoever I'm dealing with is going to be handling stuff. You know what I'm saying? I may have a partner that want to talk. I may want my own space. How are we going to compromise together to, to make this thing work? So I feel like that's an issue too because a lot of people just, boom, try to rush into something without dating and don't know nothing about the person that they're dealing with from personal experiences that just for example like my last relationship we did not know how to communicate with each other we didn't know how to communicate with each other because we forgot that dating stage we forgot we forgot that friendship stage we forgot that 
So we did not know how to communicate with each other when we were both upset. So it's just stuff like that. So like, what is they in? What is they into you? Like, what do you consider they in? Also, talking. A lot of people have different meanings of what talking is. Some people say like, you know, you can date around. And that is true. You can date around. If you're single, you can date around. And dating around is not sleeping around. So we need to stop confusing those two. Dating around is not sleeping around. To me, dating around is getting to know someone. Getting to know what you like, what you di what you don't like from different people. Combining that all to, to finding your person. That's what I feel like dating is. But people have different meanings of what dating and talking is. So, comment down below right now, what is dating to you? Do you feel like dating around is not right? Or do you feel like dating is talking? Like when you're dating, are you that does that mean you're talking to someone? Like, I want to know. I And I love this subject because like I feel like <laughs> my dating life right now is... Like I said, with the guy that I'm building a genuine friendship with, I feel like it's going super smooth. Like we're on the same page, we're we're on the same pace, we're like pacing with each other, we're like matching each other's energy, matching each other's vibe. Nice. But like I said, it's that foundation. So if we decide to take that next step, in which I do think, in which I do think it'll happen, but if we decide to take that next step, like, we already have a solid foundation. We have already built a solid foundation without sex. We've already built a solid foundation before even dating. Like, a solid foundation is what I strive for whenever I'm trying to talk to someone. I'm going to strive for a solid foundation because people forget that. People forget that step. People forget that friendship step. I don't understand what it is. I don't understand why people want to rush into something I'm not gonna say a relationship because it's obviously it's not a relationship people want to rush into something so I feel like I just went all around the world with the topic of dating but all of this <laughs> involves dating but what do you consider dating so like I said dating for me is getting to know someone um, it's getting to know others getting to know my likes and dislikes to to find my one person everybody is not going to check off all of my boxes and I understand that but some people will check all of my boxes so I feel like definitely let me know what you think dating is like dating is such a so many words to put into dating or to consider what dating is for everyone. Everybody have different meanings of what they consider to be dating. Some people date exclusively where they consider that like talking exclusively. Like you're only dating each other. You guys have agreed that you guys are only dating each other. Now you're talking to each other and you're working to build something. That's cool. But sometimes dating, like I said, is it's not it's not that not that it's just hey okay we're gonna go get to get to know each other if we decide to go on another date cool if we don't then it is what it is <laughs> but yeah so this was just a quick little video um well quick little episode I just got back from eating with my sis um I'm gonna try to like I said I don't know if this is gonna be episode two or episode three because I already previously recorded another video which was dealing with 50 50 conversation so i don't know if i'm gonna drop that first or drop this one first but definitely thank you for tuning in and the question for the end of the podcast so the question of the day is what do you consider dating what do you consider dating to be so make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you are tuned in for the next few episodes of OBH, the shenanigans, and then we're gonna end it with what? And the cut with my twins, we be vibing. <laughs>